So there are many ways to charge it. Um, you can buy one of these 18650 battery holders and get one of these uh, charging modules. It has two LEDs, red for charging, green for, or blue for when it's fully charged. And I've glued it to the bottom of this. And uh, the good thing about these compared to those that you already buy that are made online is that this chip supports up to one amp uh, input. So through this mic micro USB, if you supply it a five volt, one amp input, it will try and supply the battery with that much current as well. So you can charge those 18650s a lot better. So here's my two cents from uh, these 18650 batteries. As you can see here, I have uh, one of those portable bank cases that you can get. And with this, it has a module. This module boosts up the 3.7 volts to 5 volt output. You'll have a 1 amp output, a 2 amp output, and then you're able to charge it with either a micro USB or a type C, which on some modules have a faster charging rate. So with these, as you can, if you can follow it, uh, all these battery cells, total eight of them, they're all in parallel. All their negatives are on one side and all their positives on the other. And so they're in parallel. So when battery banks use this, and when these batteries are in parallel, all their capacity gets added up. And that's why you have a 20,000 milliamp hour uh, battery bank, 10,400, 9,600, etc depending on what each cell is when you see a cell like this for example it doesn't tell you the capacity but it tells you the watt hours it says 8.14 watt hours they're rated at 3.7 volt nominal and uh, how you figure that out is the equation for that is power equals current times voltage you're given you're looking for the current you're given the power and you're given the voltage. So what you do is you divide 8.14 divided by 3.7 and you get 2.2. So these battery cells are each 2,200 milliamp hour battery cells. Now I pulled these from a laptop. I have the same kinds right here, which I'll pull out. And so as you can see, some other tabs are still on there, but the positives are on one end, the negatives on the other, and they're rated the same. So it, let's say we have just these four in parallel, 2.2 each, you get 8,800 milliamp hour. So I have From an electric scooter. And as you can see, these ones tell you the current. So it tells you that it's 2.55 amp hours. So it's a 2,550 milliamp hour battery cell. And there was 30 cells in series and in parallel. And as you can, the good thing about this is I used one of these and it tells me it's 90% fully charged. So I use this, I can put a bunch of these in parallel and charge multiple at the same time. The USB-C charges it a little faster. You have a quick charge 3.0 and then you have a regular up to 2.4 amp output on this side. So, so sorry for the mess, but currently I have those cells charging through the USB-C to 96% full capacity. And then I have this. I'm running a fast capacity test so when I look up those online it says they're 2600 uh, milliamp hours and then these I can't really find these but I'm gonna say that these are also um, either 20 25 22 or 2600 milliamp 
um, but we're gonna run a fast test capacity test and it'll tell me the milliamp hours to see how accurate they are so what this essentially does is you get to choose the current of 300 to 500 milliamps and what it does is it charges it up all the way then it discharges and then it calculates the total capacity based on that so right now it is discharging it it charged it all the way up to 4.2 now it's going to discharge it back down so i've ran some tests on the ones that i told you i got from the electric scooters and then these were also from laptops that uh says 1800 milliamp hours on them let me see if i can so as you can see it says 1800 and then the test came back as a roughly between 16 and 1700 so i've used these in uh power banks so their full capacity has gone down a little bit as you can see they uh, rate them lower but it actually comes out 2600 so these are really good battery cells if you can get some of these right here i would suggest it 